Well, hi everyone, this is Matt from Rock U, and welcome back to another One Minute Masterclass. Today's Masterclass, Power Chords. So I recorded the whole thing before, but somehow I forgot to record the intro. So how do you like my intro? So here we are at the piano keyboard. Chords are made up of notes played together in harmony. Most chords are made up of three notes, not all chords, but most chords are made up of three notes. Let's use G. So here's G. It's called the tonic. This is the fifth, this is D. And the third, in this case, if we play B, we get a G major chord. It sounds happy and bright. If we play the third as a, a B flat, we get a minor chord, which sounds sad. Here's what a power chord is. It's just a chord with no third, just the tonic and the fifth. Neither minor nor major. Okay, now we're back at the guitar. Our amplifier is set to clean with no distortion. Listen to the major chord, G major. Pretty. Listen to the minor chord, G minor. Sad. Now we've turned on the distortion. Listen to the power chord. That is the sound of rock and roll. So why are power chords so important in rock and roll? Well first, they sound great with distortion. On a distorted guitar, that sounds kind of cooler than this. I don't know if you can hear the difference, but trust me. The second reason is they're really easy to play. And, get, and a lot of rock and roll started with a real do-it-yourself real do aesthetic. Uh, you can play it with just two fingers if you want to, and it's pretty easy to learn if you're a beginner. Let me just show you how to make one. There's a lot of different ways you can play power chords on a guitar, but most power chords are played on one of the two thickest strings. And you start by picking your tonic note. In this case, we're gonna use G, which is the third fret of our first string. And then we're gonna use the octave of G, which is the, the fifth fret on the third string. So those are both Gs. They sound really good together. And then we gotta hit this note, the third, sorry, the fifth fret of the second string, which is our D. We can either do it by holding both strings down with our pinky or our middle finger, or sorry, our ring finger. Or you can put a finger on each string, the second and third string at the fifth fret, and your index finger on the third fret of the first string. Easy peasy. We'll see you next time for another One Minute Masterclass.